What's smashing y'all? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a new extension for kick.com called Arrow Kick by the developers of Pixel Chat. It's supposed to improve your overall kick experience and I can't wait to show it to you guys as we go through it to the first time together. So let's talk about it. <laughs> the first time I ever saw it was actually on Twitter by the person that actually created the plugin. The plugin is called Arrow Kick and it's created by the pixel check um developer and to be honest when you go to the twitter and when i first saw this it comes down and gives you an example of exactly what it is it says what is arrow kick arrow kick is a brand new browser extension that aims to improve the viewing streaming and moderation experience on kick it has a lot of new features including moderation tools visual changes even message reactions and yes we brought back the mod reel so when even when you click on the picture it shows you all the new things that it has about to give you. And I was like, instead of keep looking at it, how about I actually try the extension? And I don't have the extension downloaded yet. We're about to do it right now. So look, it gives you new user cards. It gives you a quick little action so you can ban someone, time someone out, or delete their comment. Or you can even see new user cards. And now in the chat, they added in the chat that you see chat avatars. So on Cape, when most people talk, there isn't an avatar. It's just their name. Their badges that they have for you. So having an avatar is pretty dope because it can help identify the person that's speaking to you. Because in like my community, my smashing community, I have like three J nasties. And sometimes it gets a little hectic, but I mean we're working with it. So right here, we're right here in a tweet, and I'm not going to go any further actually. We we'll come down here. He shows you about the customizations and how you can fix it, and then it says get Arrow Kick app. I'm literally just going to click on it from here. It takes me straight to the extension. So we're gonna go ahead and download it, why not? So let's add the Chrome extension and add extension. Arrow kick has been added to Chrome. Manage your extension by clicking extensions in the menu. Now that I close that, I'm actually gonna to go to the extension window here and click on the arrow kick and manage extension. All right, so here it goes, automatic kick.com, asterisk, um, no incognito mode. So everything is set up. So now I'm going to come here, click on my chat, refresh. And right here we have the extension on top. You see the extension on top, it says arrow kick. So when you come into your kick after you add the extension, you know, look, I'll, I'll even close out the Twitter. Twitter is no longer open. I will put uh, the Twitter link in the bio so you can find this um, tweet easily so you find the extension. And if you haven't yet, please smash the subscribe button. We're learning this together. I'm super excited because everyone's trying to figure out a way to improve their kick experience. And finally, we have a chance. All right. So I'm going to close this out here. Now we're going to click on the AK, Arrow Kick. Okay. So the logo is right up here. It says, thank you for checking out Arrow Kick. Kick is in its very early stage and Kick as a platform is still changing and growing. So bugs should be expected. Regardless of that, we are excited to provide you new and amazing features and customizability to your experience better. What's available? We already have quite a few features available for you to use and customize. We have a chat overhaul, site tweaks, moderation tools, and more. Come check them all out via the settings on the left. If you're enjoying Arrow Kick, it would mean a lot to us if you shared your experience either on our Discord or on social media. We've made it an easy shareable link. So look, you know, this is a developer that's actually trying to get feedback from their community, you know, which is pretty dope. So not only that, but they respond to tweets. They've been in the game for a while. As I mentioned, I use a pixel chat on Mixer. So, you know, this creator has been around and they kind of have an idea of what content creators are looking for. So let's go ahead. Let's click on home. I mean, let's click on general. All right. Highlight color. Change the green kick highlight color. Actually, I don't think I'm going to change the green highlight color. Um, hide the verticals in the top nav. Okay. So you see, if I just click this, the top screen right here, this thing right here has an option that goes away. So when you click that, I click here. It says community guidelines, DMC policies, privacy policies, term of service, help and support. So when we come right back into here and I hide that, that means there's no longer an option. I mean, unless you're really trying to get in the nitty gritty of things, you don't really need it. All right, search align left. Oh, look how simple that is. Something so simple as that, you know, just to get the search bar some space so it's not clouded up with everything else. Because you see, look, it has browse, following, and now there's a big super, you know, uh, gap. But then it brings it closer. 
So that's the purpose. You turn it on and brings it closer. You bring it closer to the side of the mask. All right, save sidebar state. Your memories, if you had the sidebar left open or closed, and keep that state when you open the page. All right, so I could click this, right, in the sidebar, I can close it. It'll still show me all the people I support, you know, all the people I follow, which is still pretty dope. But at the same time, it shows me that next time I load up, that should, that's how it should say. All right, uh, if the sidebar is closed, it will expand when you hover over it and close when you leave. Turn it on. All right, so it's on. Oh, that's a look. Look, look how simple. Yo, Pixel. All right, I see you, Pixel. Look how simple. You just highlight, it opens it up now, and then when you back array, it closes. Look how amazing and simple that is. It's just. <laughs> All right, so search bar is there. We got rid of the little extra stuff that we don't need. Now, this, this bar over here closes, collapses, and opens when I need it to. Simplest things make me happy, I swear. I swear. All right, let's click on utilities. I'll oh, say thing. All right, now let's go to channel. All right, channel customization coming soon. So it's not there yet, but it should be. Change the tab icon. Change the tab icon to the channel avatar. I'm down. So it shows my avatar right up here. You see this in the corner. Get it off. It turns into kick. That's dope. Look over here in the top uh, left corner. All right, it shows kick. And then when I change the tab icon, it shows my Smash OTG logo. It's Smash from All Top Gaming. It is my game uh, brand. All right. So it shows pronouns soon. So if you have a pronoun, he, she, they, them, whatever you identify yourself as, they're trying to show you respect in that same type of way. And that's pretty dope. Move stream duration. Move the stream duration from the player to the left of the viewer. Hmm. Well, I guess that you have to see that when you're actually live, okay? Auto opens chat. Automatically opens chat when you open the channel. Okay, so that's actually an issue. So when you come to a channel, usually uh, Kick doesn't automatically open up your chat for you. So let's come here. Let's go to my channel. You see this chat bar usually isn't automatically here. Usually you have to scroll all the way down, click on chat, and then it'll pop up. But now because of the extension, it does it for you. It's a simple, it's trying to make your, your life convenient in the simplest of ways. You know, and we talked about those pictures, right? So here's my mod. Here's my boy. He supports me. He's a part of in a major foundation part of my community he supports me he plays with me he shows me love and before before he was here i couldn't see his logo so if anyone else had the name tan something something i'm like oh tan and just automatically thinking that it was him and it wasn't and look at this box i'm kind of kind of covering the box so i can move it but look at the box it shows me all he's been following me since 4 5 2023 i can gift him a sub if i want to now you know um no, you know, it shows me all his words, all the things he's said, all the things he's thrown in chat. It simplifies everything, you know? Even my lady, I got my lady here. She's right here. She's my mod as well. She shows me love. And look, look, look how easy it is to bring it out as a picture. You know, oh, it's so easy. It's so dope. Yo, Pixel, you crushed it. I just want to let you know that. And if you haven't, you guys, don't forget to drop a like or smash the subscribe button. Appreciate you. All right, so that's good. So now we see the little logos here, the little emblems. We got tan. We have all that. We can scroll up. You know, Ocean Gatsby. Ocean R. Gatsby. We're not following the wave of hype. My brother from another mother. Please show him some love. Uh, so this is dope. So it shows you all the little icons. We have Ocean in here. And we're just talking about Arrow right here in my chat. So that's hilarious that we're actually covering Arrow right now. And, you know, it's pretty dope now that you see the logos. You see the conversation. So even if I go to Ocean R. Gatsby, uh, which is a content creator, I click his name. I can bring his box out. See this? You see how simple it is? And look, he's just talking about it. You know, he said, Oh, have you heard of that new AC Pixel widget for Kick? We have now. <laughs> we have now. We have now. Um, okay, so we close that out. And right, let's go back to our settings. All right. So, auto agree to rules. Automatically agrees to chat rules when you join a channel. Look, different channels have different rules. And if you're always inside the channel and you just want this on because you only rock with people that you rock out with, then I understand. But I mean, you do want to respect the, the rules of a channel. So I'm actually going to shut this off. Because when I hop in the channel, I want to see the rules. I want to know if there's no emotes. I want to know if there's certain words you can't say. I want to know if they want to be, you know, they give us a chance to say their pronouns here soon. But then again, you know, if you automatically join the channel and don't check out the rules, you might miss a pronoun. You might see how the person wants to be respected as a content creator. And respecting content creators are super cut, right? All right, auto agree with mature content. 
It's as simple as it sounds, okay? I'm an 18 plus streamer. I have been since I was a mixer. I even when I'm on Twitch, even when I'm here on Kick, 18 plus. So if I want to watch any other 18 plus streamers, I can automatically agree and join their channel without it prompting me every time, which is actually kind of cool. All right, let's kick in chat. Enable message history. I'm down to enable his message history. Show avatars. Okay, disable animated emotes. I mean, if you don't want those flashy emotes going off, if you have something to seizures or you know those type of emotes just cause something going on, you can shut them off. You know, uh, self highlight, highlight your own messages in chat. So maybe I can do that. So when I see that I'm writing in chat, it shows me that when I'm writing in chat. So I can easily find the last thing I said, just in case I get distracted or busy when people are around. Show avatars. We just went over this. You know, it's pretty dope. If I shut it off, you see all the pictures here are gone. If I turn it back on. All the pictures are back which is pretty dope um i quick emotes i don't want to hide the quick emotes i actually kind of like it it's this bar down here uh when you come down here you click it shows you all your little emotes like mine i have the let's go rip salute because i was in the army um uh, money all these all the all these different things that we have here and see this is a quick bar right here um let me show you myself so this is a quick bar right here these little emotes that we have down here so when you come in here and it says do you want to hide emo quick bar that's what it's asking about. Click, disappears. It just shows you your previous emails that you use. I think it's pretty dope. So I'm not gonna hide it, but if you want to hide it, you can. Look, show message. So show a link between a message and a username. So you see here how it has it. All it does is put the little two dots in between, just so you say this person and message. I actually like it. So put the username and message on separate lines. Oh, that's even doper. But doper is that a word? That's even doper. I'm double down. I don't care. But uh, I prefer it all to be fluid. I don't think. You can change your text size. Look, really, you can see it changing on my side. I had to move myself so you can see. But you can literally see it changing as I fix it. All right, even chat emote size. You can fix the size of the emotes in chat. So let's go down here. You see these emotes, how they look right here? Let's go back in here. Let's change the size. Let's make them bigger. Look how much bigger they can go. That's pretty dope. All right, let's go back to 20. All right, and I know sometimes a lot of badges in chat can become hectic and you don't want to see them. You can hide badges, just names, conversations, and the pictures, which is pretty dope. But I mean, you work hard for badges. You deserve the badges. Thank you for my founders and gifters and all that stuff. So let's show those badges because you deserve them and earn them, okay? And it even comes down to interactions. Interaction, enable chat reaction, allow you to react to messages and chat with emails. Tab flash. Will flash a so and so mention you on the text tab when you get a mention in tab chat. That's dope. Even a mention sound. So say if you do want to sound, say if you're streaming, because you'll come in, hey at Smash, how you doing? And when they type and they get that ad smash, it will ding. So I know someone's talking to me. I mean, there's software already that sets off every time you get a message so you can pay attention to it. But I think this is pretty dope. The whoosh, the sound, that's pretty dope. All right, we talked about the pronouns. And look, you can even fix how big you want chat. You can stretch it. You see, the more I add plus, the more it's spreading the chat to the left. So look, it's at 355, and it just keeps extending. So it keeps extending, extending, extending. So let's bring it back to uh, probably like 350. See, and it fixed it. So look, that's pretty dope for the. Um, that's pretty dope for everything. Look at that. It's pretty dope. I like how it goes. And look, up here when I'm going through everything, accessibility, it goes little by little. Accessibility is here. Avatars is here. You know entries here so it goes little by little but if you just want to jump to a section i want to jump to pronouns here we go we jump to pronouns it's pretty dope all right now let's go to player let's check out player player says enable audio normalization enables autolized normalization on stream audio can be cpu intensive so that's basically going to give you a level of where your audio is going to be at and try to stick to it that's pretty dope enables audio normalization on stream audio that's pretty dope, actually. I'm not going to click it, though. And then, then you have a channel log that shows you almost anything and everything that you can do. You know, it says Tuesday, August 29th, the update brings reaction to channels. So it's showing you things that they're updating here on Arrowkick. And I know this was a pretty quick walkthrough now that I have the plugin installed. But you saw we did this together from the beginning to then from the tweet of AC Pixel to me going completely through this and seeing all the benefits and all the dope stuff it has. Like, look at this chat, how much prettier it looks now. Look at the emotes. Look at the people with pictures. Like, it, I like it. I like it a lot. You know, and I think it's pretty dope. So literally, right now, on this recording with you guys, 
we downloaded the arrow kick extension for chrome and we messed with it live like it's my first time ever messing with it and to be honest it's kind of dope uh ac pixel and pixel chat team and developers you know, like you guys crushed it and extremely super excited to see what you guys are going to come up with in the future um once again you're watching the what's smashing web show it comes out every friday um here on youtube and don't forget to smash the follow button and give it a like if you learned anything if you didn't try it out shout out to pixel and to everyone else that tries to give back to us content creators they put us in the front line of them and as always don't forget to have a smashing day i'm your boy smash i'm out peace